Okay, out of Smacksmiths here. This time is a quick review of the Bosch Quick Change Hole Saw Chuck Adapter Kit. I've been wanting to do a dedicated video on this adapter because it's uh, interesting in some ways, but in other ways, I think uh, it has a couple of deficiencies. This comes in their big hole saw sets, so all their different hole saw sets comes with these quick change adapters, and all the hole saws come with these threaded in adapters. We'll take a look at those, and these, they have both sizes. This happens to be the half inch 20, which is a hole, and they have smaller 3H24. Those are the two hole saw sizes. And even though it's Bosch and being a German company, uh, these hexes actually are not uh, metric. You would really think that, and many Bosch tools it is, but being related to hole saws, uh, they kept it fractional. It's actually an 11 sixteenths on these, um, which is surprising because that it happens to be a particular size that there isn't a good metric match. 17 millimeters is too small, and 18 millimeters uh, you could get away with, but has a really loose fit. So I thought that was interesting that they were 11 sixteenths. They come with these washers. They have both large washers as well as small washers for their smallest, about one and a quarter inch that has the uh, half inch thread on them. And so the deal is, is that you just use these adapters. One thing I'm a little worried about is that there is pretty thin walls. And on larger hole saws, there's big stresses. And uh, I do like the pin drive adapters just for one of the reasons. Because they have just a, a lot more steel. Just a much bigger, heavier duty cross section. These type of adapters remind me. Like this is a nice old Sue here of those uh, early uh, hole saw adapters. And you would basically need an impact wrench to get them off and that's the issue even though their hole saw sets ship with all these they also do have an adapter it's like a pin drive adapter that works with this quick release and then it just becomes this whole stacked up situation even though it's a nice just push in uh, I could see a couple situations where it may be convenient but it really is pretty large if we uh, actually let me get a hole saw on the and it doesn't save you a, you know, a huge amount of time. It's not like one of these traditional pin drive ones is whoop, really that slow. But if we look at, you know, where the back of the uh, hole, hole saw is versus the arbor, or if we do it this way, at least another half inch of length on that. We can see in this hole saw, actually, let me swap it out. I didn't, they do make adapters that are like this. I'm going to switch it up a little bit here, which is the same pin drive, but this can also be used to knock out at least thin cross sections, um, as well as this being a handy extension all integrated into one. Now, one of the other issues with these adapters, I'll even pull it out of this whole saw here, is that the threads are just pretty shallow. And like in this unit here, with the standard steel back plate, it works pretty well. But if we take a look at even... Bosch's own one and a quarter inch saw here that has uh, a pretty thick black back plate, we can see that the threads just aren't engaging very much at all. And it used to be that all hole saws, as we can see here, or adapters used to have big, thick, tall threads so that when you had the thick steel bases, they would thread, they would have a big, heavy duty engagement that goes all the way through. And so I know that could potentially be issues. I know there's people out there who will have bent these little adapters. And then when they're bent, you get a wobbly hole saw, and that's a little bit annoying. And then you have to actually uh, get the whole thing apart. And I'll get to that in a second here. One of the things I also, I did like was the fact that, well, it's it's it has both. It's a double-edged sword with this. They use quarter-inch it's just a ball D10 in there, quarter inch hex uh, bits. This is a stubby bit for hole saws, so you can find the Bosch ones, but just on any shelf, you know, even a Harbor Freight, which sells uh, hex drive, even impact rated hex drive drill bits, they're not going to have these stubby ones. So that is going to be kind of a unique drill bit. Like when I did a re the review recently, these Milwaukee holdozer saws, if you're going through a thick cross section of material, you're going to have to drill and then pull out the hole saw and drill again because there's nowhere for the wood chips to go. When you're drilling deep holes, you'll feel it. The hole saw will just start running on top of just all the sawdust. So you have to pull it out to give it some clearance. And the problem with that is, is this drill bit's still going to be in there. You're not going to be pulling it out straight. And this thing's going to be pulling out and getting stuck in the material. And it's going to be a real special situation. Or on more traditional units, like, you know, these pin drives, the bits are held in, you know, tight with the set screw. And not only that, with proper hole saw bits, 
they actually have these saw teeth. So the set screw sits in those teeth and there's absolutely no way the bit can physically come out. So one of the actual unique advantages I thought, at least for thinner material where this little bit system would work is uh, a couple situations say, actually not a couple, maybe one, which is since it does take the quarter inch hex, you can use any size bit. We now have a jobber length three eighths inch bit and it actually will fit through the center hole on these half inch arbors, which is nice. But you could have a situation here where you're in drilling some holes that are just three eighths, but you may need some other holes, say that, you know, this is a two and three quarter inch, uh, where you could just go through all the way and, and basically have two drills in one. And I kind of thought in certain situations that may actually prove to be useful. But back, I guess I'll leave it. I mean, I think it's a neat adapter system. I kind of like the idea of it. Uh, I just don't think it's really the greatest thing to really use in, you know, when the bit sets come with it, I think it's okay. But I think, you know, ultimately, you know, you use the pin drive. There's a reason the pin drive is just a de facto standard is because it really is what works. And then, you know, they make pin drive adapters for this, but then you're using a quick release with a, essentially another quick release on top of it. It's a little bit funny. And I just don't see a lot of situations where somebody's going to be, you know, switching through hole saws so often that just that small time difference between this kind of swap, you know, and this kind of swap. So this could almost be as fast if you got good with it. So the final issue is that, you know, if you don't have enough of these adapters or something, you need to take one off of a hole saw that isn't blown out and ruined. I have ruined, I, you know, I found a few of these hole saws because they have these adapters. I originally got this adapter without any of the little chuck pieces, collets, whatever you want to call them, and uh, have destroyed hole saws. Trying to use screwdrivers and metal bars through the little holes. I'm surprised how small the holes are on the Bosch's. Hopefully on the modern ones, they'll have increased that, the size of that to, where you can actually pry out the stuff, the little cutouts. But once they're in there, you need an impact wrench. I mean, you will ruin the hole saw, and you better hope it's dull. Otherwise, you got to get an impact because that's the only way. Those things seem to get so stuck. And yeah, I'm using a chrome socket, but it's not a big deal here. I mean, I actually had to hit that with some real force. I mean, this impact easily hit that with, you know, who knows what, 50 foot pounds. It was on full power, and I actually had to really drive it up. And that was with a washer. If you didn't have that washer on there, uh, this these little sharp edges of the hex, uh, which I'm sure people do if they have these sets, um, these little sharp edges of the hex will end up biting their way into the top of the hole saw, and it really will require uh, an impact wrench then. Anyway, sorry for the uh, long review of this quick change uh, Bosch hole saw kit, but you know, a couple of friends have really said oh, they really like them, and uh, I just had a bit more critical of a review versus the just a good old standard quick release pin drive chucks. They're really there is a reason these are the standard. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing, and if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Catus Maximus out.